Welcome guys. This is Coley and I'm here to do an unboxing and a review for the Luna Soul Tarot by Darren Shill and Mike Metagilia. Please like, share, and subscribe for more videos. And let's get going. And so this is the front and the side. Looks like the hermit there. Let's see. Uh, 78 card deck with booklet plus two exclusive bonus cards. All right. Oh, so this flaps here as well. Let's open it up. And so this is the inside. And it says, It's a poor sort of memory that only works backwards by Lewis Carroll. So that flaps there. And this is what I pull out from it. It's, uh, looks like the death card there. Oh, so it has this little thing inside. Okay. Put this over here. And this is the booklet and it's a hard copy and so let's see looks like it has colored pictures and so we'll get to that in a sec let's get straight into the deck and so this is the sides the back of it which is pretty Let's take this off. And winner up is the fool. Wow! And so that's pretty with these cars is like light. They look light and colorful. So he's there with his dog and alligator. His baggage. Let's see. The, okay, there we go. Looks better. The magician. Looks like it has everything. It's money, books, swords, birds there. The High Priestess. The Empress. The Emperor. Has a bird on his shield. They look like a um, Christmas tree ornament he has in his hand. I don't know, you tell me what you guys think of that. The hair font. Now, I don't know what's going on with this one because uh, it's a girl with her sword. So I have to see what type of interpretation that is. And this little thing there. So, the lovers. She has three arms on each side. That's a little different. The chariot. Justice. The hermit. Has this turtle there. <laughs> Moving very slow. The Wheel of Fortune. That's pretty. I like the purple in the background. The monkey hanging on. The strength.
the hang one. That's cute. And she has her feet tied out there with the owl and the bird. The death card. Okay, so that was on on here on the back there. Is that a dead fish? His feet is in the ground. Temperance. The devil. Well, he has them tied all the way up. Is, is that him holding the sword? Who's holding? Oh, she's holding the sword. And he has his sword tied. So that'll be a good interpretation. The tower. The star. The moon, that's pretty. The huge crab back there. What's that there? It looks like a, is that a mirror or a laptop? Uh, I'm sorry, a ta uh, tablet. The sun. Two people on this one with the unicorn. Judgment. That's interesting. Like two layers of the of the person and four eyes. That's really different. I wonder what the book says on this one. The world. Ace of Wands. That's pretty. Two of Wands. So he's looks like he's debating. If he wants to walk all the way back home, <laughs> looks exhausted. Three of Wands, yet she's waiting, but there's no ships yet. Four of Wands. Five of Wands. He's look. He looks irritated. Six of Wands. Seven of Wands. Oh, she's ready. She's ready to defend herself. Eight of Wands. Nine of Wands. Oh, he's very guarded. He's has that big old um back uh like a, a, a guard a, um I don't know, you guys can help me out with that. Whatever that is, guard in the back, he just like he built it up for himself. And he's cautious. Kind of stick together. Because they're new. But this is the Ten of Wands. That's pretty. Page of Wands.
Knight of Wands. There's the Lion on this one. King of Wands. Queen of Wands. There's her cat. This is oh, this one has a white cat. Normally it's a black cat. So that's going to be interesting. Ace of Cups. That's pretty. That Ace of Cups. Two of Cups. I like the rainbow. Uh oh. Symbolizes new. The new brighter days. Three of Cups. Four of Cups. Oh, I really like this one. This is a good interpretation. She's just Cups right there, and this is the cup that's above her. I love the way that they illustrate these pictures. really shows the meaning of the cards in the pictures. Five of Cups. Oh, that really is beautiful. I like that. It's like she's dreaming of the spilled cups. Or thinking about it. Six of Cups. Seven of Cups. He's definitely daydreaming. Eight of Cups. That's really pretty. Again, I love the purple with the blue in there. It has a little crab with his Eight of Cups, so that's a good interpretation as well. Um... It just says a lot in these photos uh, of the cards, of the art of the cards. Nine of Cups. Ten of Cups. Page of Cups. That's pretty too. Knight of Cups. King of Cups. I like that King of Cups there. Queen of Cups. She has a black crystal ball. Hmm. Ace of Swords. Two of Swords. Kind of some of them kind of traditional, you could say. Three of Swords. That's pretty. Four of Swords. Five of Swords. Oh, I like that one. It's like he just pretty much is having victory over everyone that he stabbed. Yeah. Six of Swords. And she is like she's walking on eggshells, so to speak, but on the swords. 
tiptoeing or trying to get across to her destination. Seven of Swords. Eight of Swords. I like that one. That's it's really pretty how they really move you with the with the uh the art it just tells the story in the cards nine of swords like this one really tells that story ten of swords now wow this is very interesting here he has the swords in his body, through his legs, arms, head, chest, everywhere. Wow. That's amazing. Page of swords. Knight of swords. King of Swords. Queen of Swords. Now that's pretty. The Ace of Discs. Really pretty. It looks like a beautiful flower. Two of discs. That's with the butterflies there. That's pretty. Uh -oh. Three of discs. Collaborating, working together. Four of discs. <laughs> I like that one. He's holding his pentacles and trying to decide how he's going to open the door with the key down there. <laughs> That's interesting. Five of discs. That's a heavy load on his back holding his discs. I wonder what kind of ter interpretation that would be. That seems to me like that would be um, the Ten of Wands or something. Six of Discs. Seven of Discs. That's pretty. Built a pretty flower. Eight of Discs. Nine of discs. That's pretty. Ten of discs. These cards are so pretty, but they're light and pretty. Page of discs. Knight of discs. This bull there in a mask. Is that a mask or a letter? Something he's reading. King of Discs. Queen of Discs. And here are the two bonus cards. One says W-U-W-E-I, I think. And the other is Duality. 
So those are the two bonus cards. Okay, let's show these, see what's going on with the book. So, production, there you go, all the interpretations of the cards. Let's see, so you guys we want to pause and read that. And let's see what else here. How to read the cards, a few gentle tips, spreads for uh, for card spreads, relationship spreads, selected cross, the Luna Soul spread. So it's a good little, quick little booklet to have here. And I'm going to shuffle the cards. See how they shuffle. And I'm going to pull a collective card for us. They shuffle pretty good. I like the way they shuffle. And we'll cut the deck. Pull a card for us and see what it says on the interpretation. The lovers. All right. Let me get the booklet and see what it says about the lovers. Okay. I hold your hand and know that there is no greater intimacy. Thank you for sharing your days with me. It will be a sweet sadness to say goodbye. Hmm. So it is the choices we make as individuals that define who we are, but we grow through togetherness. Love is the eternal truth. The gods know it. The animals know it. Humans often remember it, but just as often forget. It is through the ones we love, the ones we can bear, our souls, minds, and bodies too, that we discover the truth about ourselves. You are an, an individual that is interlinked with all of life through love. Celebrate it. Two souls cannot become one, but one soul lifting another through encouragement and kindness can allow another soul to shed its withered leaves, rest, reblossom, and repeat. Whether it is two souls of two people or two parts of one being, it is our opposites un, um, uniting, uniting, I, I would say, that is the map of the map to the way. Yeah. There we go. So that's a good interpretation of the lovers. And there we have it, you guys. That's again the back of the deck. Thanks for watching.